Hey, this is Lindsay Keller with Seven Springs Real Estate. Today, we're gonna to give you all the reasons you should not move to view detectives. Today we are in Northeast Buda at the New Progress Coffee and Beer. If you stick around to the end of the video, we'll tell you what we think. But for now, let's get into the reasons why you should not move to Buda. Reason number one, I already forgot. <laughs> Reason number one is the traffic. If you are planning to move to Buda so that you can work in Austin and you're gonna commute every single day, that might be a bigger problem than you realize. I-35 gets extremely hairy in the morning. So if you have a job where you have to be in Austin every single morning by like eight or nine o'clock, it could be a lot more challenging than you realize. It seems like they're always shutting 35 down for either an accident or they're closing lanes so that they can work on the road and open it up again later. It, there's just always something going on on 35 that causes it to be horrendous. So please, please check into that before you move into Buda and plan to do that every day. The good news is there are two alternatives now to taking I-35. So if you live on the west side of Buda, you can take 1626 around to a new Mopac extension. Mopac is another word for Loop 1. So that's our north-south um, highway in Austin that's on the west side of town. You can connect to that now by a toll road called 45 that goes into Buda. On the east side, we have a toll road called 130. So it also starts out as 45, and then 130 is the portion of the road that drives north-south on the east side of town. Um, so if you live on the east side, that's an easier way. That's also an easier way to get to the airport um, from East Buda. So uh, bad news is you want to stay away from 35. Good news is you have some options that you could at least map out and route and see if they could be alternatives for you for commuting into Austin. Another reason not to move to Buda is the schools. Um, Buda schools sometimes get a bad rap for being super crowded because a lot of people have moved out of Austin into the suburbs as they started to have families and needed more affordable housing. So that has made our schools get super overcrowded within Hayes ISD. However, they're always building new ones to accommodate the, the rising population in this area. So I know right now they've got three slated to open the next three years. I'm sure after that, they'll continue adding on. I, I've been very impressed with the superintendent. I think he's keeping an eye on the growth and wanting to stay ahead of it. Um, so in an area where you're getting a lot of families, you're going to be crowded. But I, I do believe they're doing the best they can to stay ahead of that. The other part is that a lot of the schools are rated really highly in Hayes ISD. And actually, we have known families that have moved out of Southwest Austin into Northwest Buda because they thought their kids had a better chance of making sports teams in high school and because the academics supposedly are better. We have not had high school age kids, so I can't speak from experience on that. Um, but we have been very impressed with the schools within Hayes ISD. Um, and, you know, just like anywhere else, they're going to be a little bit spotty. So you can go online, you can look at ratings to see, you know, how they might compare to other schools you're considering. I think your best option is always to talk to families that have actually been there and hear anecdotally their feedback on the schools because ratings don't always give you the, the full picture. Um, so, but overall, our experience has been very positive. Okay, another reason not to move to Buda, Texas is the heat. The heat is no joke. It starts sometimes in May and it really goes well into October that it could hit 100 degrees. In fact, the past few years, it's hit 100 like 60, 70, maybe 80 days out of the year. And sometimes the heat index is even higher than that. So it is like, it's serious. Like if you're going to take your kids on the front porch and color, your colors could melt. Uh, I think people in other areas call them crayons, not colors. You know what I mean? If you walk out on your porch and you start eating chocolate, it's probably going to melt in your hand before you can finish eating the chocolate. You get in the car and you try to buckle your kid, but you don't pay attention to the fact that the seatbelt is metal. You could give yourself a third degree burn. It is hot. You can't even walk your dog in the middle of the day because the poor baby's paws will fry on the sidewalk. So you got to wait till like the dead of night to walk your dog uh, just to keep him from burning his paws. Okay, but the good news is we're old pros at dealing with this kind of heat. So we've, we've, we got you, we're ready. We've got pools everywhere. We've got natural swimming holes for you. We've got 
splash pads for the kids to run around in. Um, night swimming is a really great tool we use to get through the kind of heat we're dealing with because it's still warm after the sun goes down. So kids love to go out and do that. Everything's air conditioned. You really just have to learn to deal with it the way people in the North deal with the winter. You just either stay inside or you stay in the water or you sit on a porch that has misting fans and drink a, a, a cocktail in the afternoon. So there are ways to cope with it. And the winter is fantastic. So starting like, I, we say like November to May is glorious in this part of town. So um, I, temperatures are all over the place depending on when we have cold fronts that come through. But average, I'd say like 60 to maybe low 80s. And then definitely most years we have like three or four days, maybe a week where we have like a huge uh, ice slash snowstorm where things freeze and we don't have any idea how to deal with that. So, <laughs> so you do have to be ready for anything when you move to Texas. But for the most part, that November to May time is really glorious. Um, so overall, winter and springtime in Texas are awesome and make it worth living here for sure. Another reason you might not want to move to Buda is because it's a suburb town. So it's not the city where there's a whole bunch of things going on all the time. It's a quieter life. But there is still more going on. If you know people that live here or you live here, there's a lot going on in Buda. There is, for instance, an annual wiener dog race every spring that's awesome. They have events for 4th of July, for Easter, uh, for Halloween. They have trick-or-treating down in the Main Street stores. Um, there's live music in lots of different places in Buda if you like to go out for drinks and music. Um, there are a lot of playgrounds and parks for kids to play in. Even at the holidays, they have a cute little trail of lights in Buda that is actually, it's really easy to manage and it's free. Austin has a famous um, trail of lights that's been around for years and years, but it's a huge production and it's very difficult to get in and out of. So, um, so there's stuff going on. It's just a smaller scale, but the, the convenience of being able to get there and meet up with friends and enjoy yourself is sometimes easier than the full scale productions that um, Austin has to offer. Okay, so let's talk about housing. You might have heard that the Austin housing market has really gotten expensive. That is very true. But when you get out of Austin into suburbs like Buda, housing is generally much more affordable than it is in city, center Austin and the closer areas. There's a lot more newer construction, so you're more likely to find a home that has more modern updating and warranties on it when you get into suburbs like Buda. So because Buda is the closest southern suburb to Austin, it is more expensive than Kyle and San Marcos. The further out you go, the less expensive it'll be. But compared to Austin, most people find Buda to be more affordable. Hey, thanks for making it to the end of our video. Hope you enjoyed it and found it useful. As promised, we'll give you a quick review on Progress Coffee and Bar. This is again on the east side. We did a video about downtown Buda uh, that's already posted on the page. This is not included in that, but it's super cute. We wanted to show it to you. Hasn't been open for very long. Um, we really like it. Super warm, cute atmosphere outside. It, today's rainy, so we're not outside, but outside they have um, a covered patio with fans and like a lot of seating that's very comfortable, couches and stuff. There's a playground and picnic tables outside and there's a food truck called Pueblo Viejo that had really good breakfast tacos. I'm sure they have great everything tacos. Um, if you come in here, order the sweater weather coffee. It was phenomenal for this time of year. So we hope you come out, hope you enjoy it. We'd love to hear what you think if you have any feedback on this place or the video. Please like and subscribe to our YouTube channel, and thank you for watching.